you've been going to the joint yes for four years three four, four years, years. Yes. gotcha and so he started here in California. He's gone up to Washington to see the joint up there. And so how many doctors have you seen over there? We talked about here and there, you said. Collectively about 12. About 12 different doctors, right? Yes. And so tell us the difference between that and this right now. He's already, we just took his x-rays already. How is this whole experience different here in only the last 45 minutes <laughs> than the entire four years of the joint? Andrew, I work as a software engineer. And your age. And I'm 31. Gotcha. And where do you live? You live uh, in Washington. Washington, yes. yes. And so why are you here, sir? Uh, lower, chronic lower back pain. Gotcha. Um, How many years? Five years. Five years. And so uh, he heard it in basketball years ago, you know, going down the middle, pain, and he had an injection. Uh, steroid injection. Steroid injection, yes. right? And like maybe it helped a little bit. I don't know if helped, it helped at all. It helped about a day or two. Um, it it helped. Back. Yeah, it came back. So he's been suffering five years. And so since then, he's not only been suffering with his back, he also suffered with migraines. Yeah. And so he's had migraines for five years, but he's not even here for that. And it's three to four times a week with the migraines. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> so why don't you tell us about your back pain? Tell us what it does to you. Uh, where is it? And kind of stuff like that. Uh, so it's, it's my lower back. Um, when it's in pain, for the most part, I can't, I, I, I fear running. I can't jump, bending, picking up, you know, putting on my pants, putting on shoes. Um, I can't do it without help. It is all the time too, by the way? Um, when the pain is about an eight and above, then you can't do anything. I, I, I usually can't. Uh, stubborn, and I don't ask for help. You know, I've been doing a lot of research of how to fix myself because I've gone to places and it, it, no one can help me. I don't find answers. So you know, I do a lot of stretching at home, and I came across one of your videos and seeing the reaction that people get. You know, just the the relief. Um, that's what really urged me to come out and reach out. Um, gotcha. You've been going to the joint yes. for four years, three or four, four years, years. Yes. gotcha. And so he started here in California, he's gone up to Washington to see the joint up there. And so how many doctors have you seen over there? We talked about here and there, you said. Collectively about 12. About 12 different doctors, right? Yes. And so tell us the difference between that and this right now. He's already, we just took his x-rays already. How is this whole experience different here in only the last 45 minutes hmm. than the entire four years of the joint? Well, you've, you've asked me more questions than the 12 doctors, you know, as far as the, the you, you've gone in depth. I took x-rays? Yes, uh, you, you took x-rays. <laughs> you know, they don't me, take x-rays there. You gave me advice, you know, and said, don't, you know, it, it's everything you're saying, it makes sense. It's, mm -hmm. it's all about really fixing what's wrong with me instead of just, you know, having me come in, sit down and then leave. What did you see mm -hmm. in my videos that drew you here and what was different than the joint? Well, you don't sugarcoat anything. When it become with my body and you know the pain, I, I I need someone to be direct, and seeing you the way that you talk to patients, to me the way that I see is you you being very genuine, you being honest and, and and genuine as as software developer being being you know thinking logically, it's that's how I that's how I understand. And yeah. watching these videos, I was able to kind of put together exactly you know your your, your system and, and why it works and yeah. and I, I, it, his arms go asleep too. Very easily, yes. Every day kind of thing. Yeah. He doesn't think he has constipation, but we think we have some constipation because we have some hemorrhoid ideas. Heartburn, tell us about the heartburn. Yeah, but that's been recent, um, I think the last year. So my, my left eye, um, the last about two, about two years now, the vision, um, it becomes very blurry um, to the point where I can't drive at night because it looks like there's rain on my windshield and I just I just can't see. Um, You've been to two specialists on this, two eyes? Eye. Yes, they, they think it's allergies, but it's my left eye and not my right eye. It doesn't make sense, you know, so. Uh, so you've been to optometrists or orthopedic or, or ophthalmologist guys that specialize in eyes and they can't figure it out, right? No, they have gotcha. no idea. The reason I'm making a big deal of it because we're gonna help with his eye because it's been a couple years and again, it's a neurologic thing, guys, and so these doctors you see out there, they're just doing superficial stuff looking for symptom relief. Tell us how shitty your sleep is. <laughs> uh, I don't. I, I, I take naps, you know, one or two hour naps throughout the night. You see I, you, everything I you say. I feel like I'm 75. He's been self-adjusting for how long? Admit it. Come on, admit it. I would probably say most of my life. Yeah. Logically, he should stop. He even knows empirically he should stop. It's not like I have to tell him something that he goes, I know I probably should stop. But he can't. He's addicted to it. Why? Because pain is the motivator. So my patients stop. After you treat the cause, you don't have to self-adjust anymore. And he can't wait to do that. So yeah. just orthopedic test here so you guys can see how bad it is. I don't know if you see his face, but you probably can't. <laughs> but he's in pain right here. This is about 45 degrees, so that's really bad right here. I gotta put it down slowly. Yeah, and then pain right here. You know, all these tests are positive. This one is not. Okay, tell us how much flexibility you do all the time. How much flexibility? 
You right. work on flex uh, every day. Of my every life. day, right? Every day of my gotcha. life. Gotcha. Every day of his life, he's been trying to stretch, 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 and doesn't help at all. So I turn your stomach real quick, just to give him kind of an idea where your pain is. Good. Arms down. So most of his pain is on the right hand side right here. I push right here. Oh, yep. Yep. That's all right there, guys. I've also pushed right up here. He doesn't like this either. And then his neck, which is very interesting to me, is that he has this huge atlas displacement right here on the right. And then not as much on the left, but it all is right there. So go ahead and bend over, touch your toes real quick. Just tell me what you feel. How much pain there, sir? Scale of one to 10. Uh, like a six to eight. Good, stand up. Hands like this, go back, please. How about that? Uh, seven. Seven, yeah. gotcha. Now uh, put your arms down, look at the floor, please. Any pain there in your neck? No pain. Look at the ceiling. How about that? No. Okay, stay right there, look straight ahead. Take your right arm and go straight overhead. Any sh shoulder pain? Yeah, any? yeah it's How much? Uh, like a four. Like a four? Now put it behind your back like this, sir. How about that? Uh, no pain, but it feels like it's gonna pop out. Gotcha, fair enough. Left arm? Yep. Not really? No pain. <laughs> gotcha, put it down. Now, the other one, stay right here with your feet and you're gonna squat to the ground, please. Get down as low as you can. <laughs> we did this on camera, I remember now, because he almost fell over. Yeah, we did this already. How much pain in your back? Yeah, it's all there. It's all there. <laughs> yeah, it's all Seven, there. eight, six? Uh, an eight today. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. we'll just, we want relative differences. So yes. the reason I do this is one for you guys, but really I do it for my patients because I want them to see value in what we do here. And so they can see that uh, my crazy way I do things actually works. When you came in Friday, I could see the anguish in his eyes. So how excited are you to be here, man? It, I, I could, you know, couldn't sleep already, but even last night I just couldn't. Dri excited driving here, my eyes are, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, uh, you know, just, just to, just to see. Yeah, you I know, know, I know. I'm, I'm excited. I knew you would be, and I was like, I was waiting because I was like so excited to kind of work on you myself because it's fun to work with people who are, who are motivated. I cry watching your videos. You know, Do you, you really? Just seeing people just be like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I uh, really dig what I do, and uh, it's nice being at the mountaintop now and being able to help so many people. Hmm. And uh, so, hmm. let's go. Yeah. Well, already, um, I was when, when I woke up, I was very groggy. You know, and things seemed very out of focus. Um, already now, it's just everything seems like I can see. This lower neck is the issue right now. Good. And so uh, I'm adjusting C5, C6, which I don't usually start off people with. I'm reminding Andrew here to not twist and turn or he'll undo my work. So stay still, look straight ahead, and keep your arms at your side. I feel, I feel like I'm, a, <clears throat> I'm aware of my body posture now. In a, um, it feels more connected or it something. It feels much more like a, you know, how I should be sitting. Usually okay. I tend to feel like I lean either to the right or, you know, a certain way. Um, That's funny you say that. Because mm -hmm. your x-rays, you lean to the right yeah. so far. <laughs> and and, and I, the thing that I realized... That's um, funny you noticed that. What made me really say, yes, I'm staying here a week is um, I began to notice that whenever I would stand, I would stand on my left foot, never put weight on my, fo on my, on my right foot. Why do you think that is? my body protecting itself no okay come with me it's like in the videos you're gonna walk all the way to the front door okay stop right there take a deep breath in your nose and out come with me Dizzy at all? No. <laughs> I usually get lightheaded when I stand up. Do you really? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Something's changing already. Stop right in the door there. Don't move. I feel like my blood's flowing. Okay. You know, I feel like my, especially right now, my my fingers. You know, I feel like I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. <laughs> but it's funny. All I do is just your neck, right? Yes. Your whole body's kind of getting activated. Yeah. So go ahead and bend over, touch toes. Let's see. Okay. This is where I say, who's your daddy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a seven a minute ago. Maybe a two. <laughs> Maybe a two. Yeah.
Okay. Now this one I think was a seven or eight. I think we went backwards. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, still a little there, but it's it's definitely like a four. Yeah. So much, much more. Fifty percent less. You mean that's yeah. kinda, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, let's look down the floor. That was uh, I forget zero. three or something. Yeah, yeah it was a zero. Look yeah. at the ceiling. And that. Nothing. Good. Now right arm above the head. That was a four. <laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. 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 And all I did was touch your neck. Yes. Okay. Now the <laughs> close kinematic chain one. Uh, spread your feet a tiny bit because that's where you were before. Good. Now squat. <laughs> I, I used to, I used to, you know, before yeah, I used to just be able to, you know, I was so flexible. We're now because he almost fell over. Yeah, we did this already. How much pain in your back? Yeah, it's all there. It's all there. <laughs> yeah, it's Seven, all there. eight, six. But yeah, wasn't yeah. that an eight a minute ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hands are sweating. What is that? What is that now? <sighs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your hand sweating? Emotional? You mean emotional? Yeah, um, I, I, I don't notice pain. You know, it's, I, I feel I feel normal. I feel like I, I, I can walk, stand, and not have to worry about turning too fast. Or you would not be paying me to come in here if you felt like this all the time. <laughs> how long would that take? A long two minutes. And how many years you've been searching? <sighs> ten, uh, ten, ten now. Ten years now. But four years of chiropractic. Four years right? of chiropractic, and before that, it was just me stretching, doing sports massage, helping out, you know. And he's a massage therapist, right? Uh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. He's a massage therapist. Yeah, 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 yeah. So turn to your side, please, this way. I want you guys to see this shit. This is amazing. Come forward just a little bit. He's going to get down now. Spread your feet just a tiny bit right there and squat. Go and squat, please. Right about there, huh? That's about it. And you can see how he's going to fall back, too, guys. Go and stand up. You don't have to go any longer. See? He's going to fall back over his feet. He was falling backwards. He kept grabbing the door. Check it out. You guys will see that post together. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Cool, Thank huh? You. Yes. Excited. First adjustment, guys. We got a whole week. Yeah. So you had your first uh, adjustment a couple hours ago, and so tell us about this hunger thing and sleep <laughs> thing you're talking about. Yeah. So immediately after, you know, I, I, I walked down the street. Um, before I got to the end of the street, I was like, oh man, I was like, I'm hungry. You know, I haven't been hungry. I haven't craved anything in months. It's been, you know, six, seven months where I just, I don't, there's days where I just don't eat because I don't, I'm not hungry. You know, and halfway through, you know, I was like, man, I, so then I ended up walking down to the Starbucks, you know, and just getting food. And then on the way, you know, on the way back, I was like, man, I'm, I'm sleepy now. I'm, I'm, I'm actually tired. <laughs> and how yeah. often are you tired like that? How often does it hit you in the middle of the day like that? Uh, 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 never. <laughs> you know? Never, right? Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, I already recognize my body trying to, to go back to how it was. Yeah, we call that muscle memory, guys. You guys talk about that all the time. So let's give you one last thing, because I'm sure you've analyzed this over the last couple hours. How much better are you now than when you came this morning, percentage-wise? 5%, 10%? Uh, An empirical scale. I'm just like, just yeah, emotionally, it, 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 how much it, better are you? 85 90% better <laughs> you know and a lot of it too is mental you know and it's, I'm not disagreeing I yeah. just want to know empirically what you feel I mean just your emotionally how you feel better you feel 85% better already emotionally mentally you know physically I feel good um, the pain is you know minimal but it's not it's not what it used to be I'm not I'm not you know I I, I, I used to be afraid just sitting in my car you know or putting my bag in my car now you know it I, I you know, as with time, you know, I, I'm trying to push myself a little, you know, um, but I, I, I'm getting more confident in my body. But market difference in a couple hours. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. Perfect. Okay. Uh, my so again, notes guys. And so this is what we do when we come here and I show this to you guys because I want you guys to take notes. Walking between shoulder blades. So as he's walking, his, his shoulder blades started coming up to a four. Uh, walking, right shoulder. Okay. So the one thing we want to see on the walking, you want to know where you're walking. Around the building. Uh, mm -hmm. at the mall, on the beach, so be okay. specific about that. If you're walking and you're on your phone, we want to know about that kind of stuff too. Driving, uh, when you first get in the car, or 10 minutes later, or okay. 20 minutes later, sort of, is it the initial sit down, or is it when you get out, or is it when you're actually driving? So just be specific, specific about it, okay. but these are pretty good starting notes because 
He has grades of pain and he has, uh, again, you spent more time on telling me where the pain is. I want to know what you're doing okay. more than the pain is. But uh, not bad to start. Okay, so um, we're going to do even more notes after this. So let's get you adjusted and you'll see how you feel. Okay, dude, what did your girlfriend say when you called her? She, she had a question about the second week. <laughs> Already? She's like, if we do the one week and you don't do the second week, um, is it almost like a waste of doing the first week? Mm, funny. Um, it's never a waste. Yeah. Um, it's a waste if I did just one adjustment. Mm -hmm. Okay? But one week is a week of hope. So um, the most important thing is even after one adjustment, don't you feel like you now coming out of the doldrums you're like you feel like there's hope now for you yeah. like you're like I don't have to live in pain for the rest of my life I just got to pay this guy to get me better whatever at least I can find somebody to help me yeah right I mean isn't that nice to know yeah we're most likely going to stay the second week <laughs> I know. <laughs> she, she, she convinced me she's like I know but I'm just trying to say that it's not a complete waste to do yeah. one week only And again, guys, we're just doing lower neck on him. I'm excited to do the seated adjustment on him in the middle of the week. Keep it simple right now. Because I think he's going to really respond to that even better. Okay. 